Does he say anything when he dove into the front driver's seat? He didn't until he pulled <clears throat> underneath a house on stilts. Uh, a house. Um, it was How a far did he drive from the location near the hooks to this house with stilts that you're describing? It was probably like three blocks. You pull out of Little Harbor Resort, you turn right, you're on the main road, Shell Point Road, and it kind of curves around, and then there's houses that kind of face out to the golf, and they have boat docks. At the location where you were strangled, is that located within Hillsborough County, Florida? Yes. Um, so he drives approximately three blocks. You said he peeled out of there. Is he driving quickly to this house with stilts? Yes. Did you know this person that lived there? No. Did he tell you why he was going to this house? He told me that was the safe house. Um, and so what happens when he arrives at this safe house? Are you still in the captain's chair? I'm tied to the captain's chair. And what happens next? He pulls underneath the house um, and he moves from the driver's seat over to the passenger seat. So he's sitting catty corner to me looking back right at me. And he says, there's an unmarked police car right there. And I didn't believe him this point. Um, Could you see the vehicle that he's that I did. He's referring it looked to? like an older Chevy Malibu. And so I, I didn't believe him. And he begun began slitting his throat and saying, this is what love is. I'm laying my life down for you. You don't deserve this. What did you... Um, what did you do when he was doing that? I was screaming. I was screaming. It was very um, traumatic in the blood and the, the, whole, the, the whole thing was, was traumatic. What did he use to cut his neck? The razor blade. Was that the same razor blade um, that was used on your wrist? Yes. Um, what's the next thing that, um, did you tell him to stop doing that or were you encouraging him to no, slide his, I said, slide his throat? No, I said stop, please, please stop, please. Um, did you ever tell him he should commit suicide? No. Um, what's the next thing that happened? It, with, his, with his neck oh, slit and open, he leaned backwards in the seat with a razor blade at me and he said, let me cut those ropes off of you. And I took, because it was just looped on my injured arm, it wasn't tied to it, I was able to pull my arm out of the loop and I had my hands like this. And I said, look, I'm out, I'm out. You don't have to cut the ropes off. And at this point, law enforcement surrounded the vehicle. My door opened, I was grabbed and taken out. And did you see what happened with him in the vehicle when law enforcement got you out of the vehicle? I did not. Um, what is going through your head when law enforcement pulls you out of that vehicle? I, I was in complete shock. I can't believe that I'm alive. This is, and, um, yeah, so I, I asked if my parents knew what happened. So, yeah. So you happened. had asked if your you had asked about your parents? Yes. Okay. Did you know where the kids were at this point or anything like that? Did you question the police about that? I did. Once we got to the police station, I said, where are my children? They said, they're with deputies. Your children are fine. Okay. Um, when um, you get taken out of the vehicle, um, where are you taken to? I am taken to a South Shore uh, Sheriff's Office, which is down right next to the big lots in Bruskin. Is that a district office for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office? It is. 